Okay, that's better. Now we can get the walking shot, like I'm all cool, walking with my boots and my chain. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. Today we will be doing a much requested store review and one of my favorite stores, Urban Outfitters. The vibes that it gives is like hipster meets skater meets like street style. A wide variety of different styles at Urban Outfitters. They are kind of like hippie-ish or hipster-ish, I guess if you would call it. But still, really great stuff. Some of their stuff can get a bit pricey. They do have great sales. And Urban Outfitters is one of those stores where you kind of have to go each store differs from the other one so my biggest advice would be to check out urbanoutfitters.com Urban Outfitters just like PacSun is a retailer that carries its own you know clothing but also features brands so yeah let's go and review Urban Outfitters <music> from Stussy brand and it is super dope I love the colors of it let me show you the back so again here's the back I love it has a tiger world tour these are something new at Urban Outfitters you guys should check them out let's see what the price is okay, so this is a hundred and forty nine dollars which is they're doing construction here but there's um, it's hundred and forty nine dollars which is a little bit expensive oh my god for a polyester jacket, but it still looks pretty cool. As you guys remember, me and Paul came here to try on this like purpose tour stuff, but they didn't have it that day we came, so I'm gonna try on this. This is the only piece that I really like from the whole collection. It has purpose tour on the back, staff on the front. Let's try this out. Okay, so here is the purpose tour windbreaker. I like it because it has these little um, strings at the bottom, so you can kind of like make it constricted and I got this in a medium size and let me show you let me go show you guys the back of it and here's the back I like that it has the detailing on the back to be honest $99 for plastic is just kind of craziness cool concept though so you guys can see here all the brands that Urban Outfitters has plus more but these are the main ones so I really wanted to try on these new sweatpants that they have, I saw last time. And I don't know if I should go with pink, I feel like the green one is more versatile. So they're $39, which I think is a really good price, so I'm gonna get a small in them. They have a great selection of these Alpha Industries bomber jackets too, if you guys want. I always get questions about it. So these shirts are another brand that's really popular at Urban Outfitters. I haven't heard really great reviews about them. I think they're called feathers. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm gonna try some on for you guys and see how they fit. They look pretty cool. I love how aged and extended they are, so I think I'm gonna go with this orange. This one looks pretty nice. I've been kind of obsessed with this color lately. They have some like acid wash. These are Urban Outfitters brand. This shirt's pretty cool actually. Try it on. So as you guys saw in the vlog, if you watched it, Urban Outfitters has these cool, like, they made them themselves, Urban Outfitters hoodies, and it's kind of like the Fear of God ones. So I tried this on in the vlog, but I'm gonna try on this gray version right now. Okay, so here's the hoodie. Um, as you guys can see, it fits a little bit baggy. I got a large size in it. These are $39, so really great price I feel like the fit is good but my favorite part as I said is this kind of like crossover neck it has but yeah I think these are a really great deal if you guys want a great hoodie if you want it to fit like mine does then size maybe two size up but then look at the sleeves so that might get annoying but I think they fit pretty true to size so in all the store reviews that I go to, I try to try on their like unique denim that they sell at the store. So BDG is one that Urban Outfitters sells. So I'm gonna try them on. I'll try these acid wash ones. 
Make sure you guys check out their sales sections too. Like these feathers stuff always end up in the sales section. So this one is pretty nice actually. But good sales section too. This is a nice flannel. I'm gonna try this on. Guys, I am in love with this flannel that I found in the sales section. This is like so all saints slash Saint Laurent Paris style. Like I love how it's faded, but guess how much this is? This is $50 in the sales section. Like what was it before? This is Wait, what the heck? I don't know if you guys can see, but it says $49 original price, and then on sale it says $49. What a tease. I am in love with all of these flannels. Flannels are gonna be super in for fall and winter, especially faded ones like this. So I love the combination between my army shirt and this. I think I'm gonna try this out, but this is a great flannel. This is from the brand. What's it called? CPO Provisions. The pink one was from the same brand. They make really great flannels. They are a little bit expensive, but I love them. Okay, so here's the last flannel. This is from Urban Outfitters brand. This one is really cool too. It's black and it has this kind of like yellow, bleeding yellow style to it. It's over. I like wearing them kind of oversized and loose. And I'm gonna start doing this, adding like textures like army with flannel. I don't know. I like. How it looks together. This one is $54 and I like it, but my favorite one has to be the those two actually. Okay guys, in the fitting room of Urban Outfitters, very great lighting, thank you Urban Outfitters, but um, let's see the pieces that I got. So a lot of the stuff that were jackets and stuff I tried outside because I didn't want to bring it inside here because it would be too much. But I decided to pick pieces that really caught my eye that are new and that I recommend. So that's what I'm gonna do. Get started to do the outfit of the day. And so I'm wearing, um, this is like a SLP Saint Laurent inspired outfit. So army shirt from H&M that I rolled up the sleeves. The sleeves are supposed to be actually a little bit more rolled up. Zip black jeans, my suede topman boots, chain, and then this kind of All Saints inspired necklace. So yeah, that's my outfit of the day. I'm feeling this outfit, I really like it. I don't know, let me know down below if you guys like. So I got a lot of t-shirts because I feel like Urban Outfitters, one of their, it's super loud here, one of their staple things is um, t-shirt. So the first piece that I wanted to try on was this. So it's kind of like this thermal material. It's got a curved hem, drop, drop curved hem, and it's, from Urban Outfitters' own brand. This is another new thing from their brand. Not their brand, but this is the brand called Narrows. And it's just a really kind of roughed up, raw edge, distressed shirt kind of situation we have going here, Yeezy inspired, I guess. I also picked up this Feathers brand. I think it's Feathers, let me double check. Orange, mustard, gold looking one a chance. See how they fit. These are a little bit pricey, $34 for a t-shirt, which, you know, you can take it or leave it, but if it fits great, it might be worth it. Got a lot of t-shirts, guys. The next piece is this, like, <laughs> this one is, like, heavily beat up. I probably wouldn't buy or wear this, but I just wanted to see how it looks on, because it's, like, a bunch of holes. Super distressed. This is from the brand US Rags. So the last shirt I got, I guess wasn't cool enough to come with a hanger, but I think it's super dope, is this one. It's a black shirt. It's been bleached with a pattern on it, as you guys can see, and then it has this kind of like fabric band going across it, so I thought that would look cool. Now, as I said, be, um, outside, BDG is a brand that Urban Outfitters carries a lot of their stuff, and one of their most prominent things is the jeans that they have, and I love trying jeans from different stores, so I wanna give these a chance. It's the first time I saw them, the price was good, and they're, G they're these sweatpants joggers, and I feel like for fall, joggers like this are gonna be in, and I love the cream drawstring okay so let's try these items on and see what we think about urban outfitters let's do it okay guys so here is the hold up shirt this is intense like i feel like someone shot me with like a shotgun or something i would not be able to wear this to school everyone of my professors would be like what 
Okay guys, I love this shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts that I've seen recently. I love that it has the curved bottom. The sleeves fit really great. I don't even need to roll them up. They're the perfect height. And then I love that it, this kind of, the shirt kind of breaks up and has this elastic. It's $39, $34, which I think is worth it for this shirt because it has like the extra effort and um, I would pay $34 for this. I got this in a medium size. Okay, so here's this Feathers t-shirt that's really famous here. Now this one was, I always forget the pricing and my dementia. This one is $34 soon, and I think if you can afford it, you have the extra money, you should invest in these. I like these shirts. They fit really nice, actually. I love the neck. It's just really effortless. If you have this shirt in your collection, you could just, you know, hang it, wear it. I don't know about the washing though, so someone let me know down below if you've tried these feathers shirts, washed it, and they would come ruined. But out of the store, I feel like they fit really great. I love how it fits, actually. Okay, so I decided to try on this BDG jeans. I'm wearing it with the whole shirt, and I'm not a big fan, guys. Like, I think they were trying to get like a 90s fit to it, but it just fits really horribly. As you guys can see, I rolled it up. Now, I don't know if it's like the fit that I got, and it wasn't really clear if this is like straight fit. So it's supposed to be slim, but there really isn't anything slim about them, but I think they were meant to be kind of like 90s, as you guys can see if you tuck it in. But, I don't know. I don't think, I'm not a, I've never been a big fan of them actually now that I remember the BDG brand. So, I don't like them. Okay, so here's this, the thermal kind of shirt. I love how this one fits also. Again, I forgot the price. Damn it. 44. So a little bit pricey, but they fit great. I love the color. And um, with these, I thought that was like an animal coming out of it. <laughs> yeah, with these jeans, they don't look that bad. If these were a little bit lighter, I think it would look cool. But yeah, here is the Heather shirt. I recommend these as well. So again, I'm telling you, Urban Outfitters has great shirts, I feel like pants-wise, I'm not too sure. Here's the joggers. They fit huge. Like, this is a small and, like, it's huge. But I, they, I think they're good. If they had, like, an extra small, I would get that and it would fit, kind of fit it. But, I mean, if they were, they, they just don't fit really well. But they're not bad quality, so I guess, you know, never mind. I don't like them. I really like this shirt with my own pants. See how important pants are, guys? Like, literally, this made the outfit right now. Before, it was just like weird and weird, and I was just like super cool. So, yeah. And here is a really dope piece, another really great item. So, this is a great way to do holes, but have it subtle. Just like two here, maybe a few on the collar, but this is just like overboard. But I love this as well. This one is $50, actually. I literally just checked the head. Sorry, this is $38. I think it's worth it for $38. They also have this in a pink version and a green version. Those are really nice too. This is kind of like the cream, dark creamish color. But again, with black pants, it would look cool with jeans, blue jeans. So I highly recommend these. If you guys want to see more, of this types of shirts that I tried on. Check out my vlog channel, I'll actually link it down below. I tried on more pieces from here there, so check that out. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I reviewed Urban Outfitters to the best of my abilities. I showed you guys the new stuff. Moral of the story is, for me, in my opinion, stick with jackets, shirts, you know, hoodies, tops. I feel like Urban Outfitter does a really great job with having variety. Shoes are really great here as well. They carry a wide range of shoes. Again, each store varies. Check out Urban Outfitters on online. As you guys saw, they carry backpacks. But those are me. <laughs> they carry backpacks, they carry um, skincare, novelty items, books. It's just a huge store. It's great to like spend a day in. Well, not a day, but just to spend some time in, you have fun, you learn new things, you see fashion. So I highly recommend it. One of my favorite stores. And although the pants didn't work out, overall I really liked all the items that I picked out. And the jackets and everything. So let me know what's the next store review. I think I'm getting a lot of requests for cotton on. Um, lately, Cotton On has been letting me down in terms of being current and high fashion and everything, or fashionable, but if you guys really want uh, Cotton On, I will do it. 
but yeah, let me know down below, like this video, thank you for watching, and until next time, peace. Yeah.